Hey folks, good to see you again. Since the last time we talked to you, we have driven from North Dallas, 988 miles, and we are now in Blanding, Utah, on the first leg of our five month summer trip. Be sure and subscribe and you'll be notified about, of our, about all of our upcoming summer videos. We are the Redhead and the Preacher. I'm Linda and this is Bruce. We're from Dallas, Texas, and we are full-time RVers. First, we're going to show you the RV park that we're staying in, the Blue Mountain RV Park in Blanding. And then we're going to show you a little bit about the town of Blanding, what there is available there. So let's get started. From the map, you can see that Blanding is in the southeast corner of Utah. As you drive in to Blanding from the south, you see it sitting at the base of the beautiful Blue Mountains. When you arrive in Blanding uh, at the Blue Mountain RV and Trading Post, you will come in and register here in the Trading Post and you will be amazed at all of the Indian jewelry and the beautiful things that are available here. Uh, it's just a fun place to shop around and look and of course the traditional t-shirts and children's toys and just so many things and they do have a small store uh, that has some things that you might need uh, that you don't have to run to the grocery store uh, like ice cream of course here uh, so this is just very convenient this is a map of the RV site. Sites 1 through 9 are back ends next to the highway. 10 through 15 are pull throughs with nice grassy sites next to them. And 16 through 23 are also pull throughs. And we are on the back row, which we really love for the, the views that we had was sites 25 through 39. This is our site, site number 37. We chose this back-end site for the purpose of, of privacy and for the view. This view is over our table, and this view is out our back window. The roads are nice and wide, and backing in was no trouble. The lower level where we are is all gravel. There's no grass down here, but they do have nice sidewalks uh, at the site. You park your RV on one side and your car or your vehicle on the other side. They do have nice picnic tables and some sites do have fire pits or grills. We paid $576 for the month here in Blanding. If you're coming just for a night, it'll cost you $28 to $39 depending on the hookups you have. It's a quiet park. Uh, the Wi-Fi was very good. We enjoyed our time here. And for those of you who have dogs, they do have a dog park and also a dog walk. We would recommend the first thing you do when you arrive in Blanding is go to the great Blanding Visitor Center. It was terrific and you will meet Lynn there. She is the director and uh, she is fabulous, just chuck full of knowledge of all the day trips that you can take in and around Blanding. But if you want to see any mountains, just go outside and look up at the beautiful Blue Mountains. There's some wonderful restaurants in Blanding like the Homestead Steakhouse. They have a great uh, salad bar, soup bar. Bruce loved the chicken noodle homemade soup that they had. Plus the Indian fry bread sandwich with uh, sweet potato fries. He's still raving about that. And if you want a little excitement while you're eating a, a burger or uh, eating a pizza, come to A&W. After you finish with your pizza, you can bowl a few lines. How fun would that be? And one of the favorites of the locals is Pop's Burritos. It's open all day. Bruce really enjoyed their breakfast burritos. And they have a wide choice and selection. And guess what else they do? They have axe throwing right there in the restaurant. Here we are at Pop's Burritos and we have none other than Pop with us. And believe it or not, in this restaurant, you can throw axes. And Pop's gonna demonstrate for us how you do that. It's all in the distance. Ooh, look at that, Whoa. a champion. So you better eat what you order from this guy. <laughs> $6 for a half an hour, $12 for an hour. You too can become a proficient axe thrower at Pops Burritos in Blanding, Utah. Hey, Just like that. That is great. Thanks, Pop. 
I'm always looking for a great place to eat breakfast, and I found Yaks, and they specialize in breakfast, and I had a wonderful time there. They also serve great lunches. One day when I was driving home from the store, I ran across a house that was selling Indian fry bread out in front of the house. Freshly made, I stopped and bought this beautiful piece of Indian fry bread for $2, took it home, and ate every piece of it. Cedar Mesa products are located in Blanding and are all original Indian artwork pottery pieces that are so beautiful. And in the back room, the pieces start at half price. And of course, I had to buy a, a little pot that was so pretty, and it was $12. This is the First Baptist Church we visited there and found a very friendly group of people. They liked me enough to ask me to preach three Sundays in their pulpit, and I certainly have enjoyed that. They invited us to a wedding a couple held in the backyard of their house, and we got to meet, I think, half the town. Linda made a new friend. Her name is Adele, and she's of the Zuni tribe, and she does beautiful beadwork. One of the really neat things in Blanding is the Dinosaur Museum. Uh, Tracy is one of the managers there. We met her at First Baptist Church and she really knows her stuff and can explain all the displays to you. She was fabulous. This place looks really small on the outside, but it has many, many rooms just filled from top to bottom. And the children will love this as well as all the adults. We really enjoyed it. And it's very nice that um, there are over a hundred movie posters that are original posters that are located in each of the rooms that are really fun to look at and remember all these old movies. Also located right here in Blanding is Edge of the Cedars State Park. The entrance fee is $5. It has a small museum of the artifacts that have been found right here on this site. The ruins date back to about 1200 AD from the Puebloan Indians that were once located in this area. I'm climbing out of a kiva right here, a ritualistic room that included a fire pit and also ventilation shafts. Very interesting was their solar marker. This is the way, evidently, that they told when to plant and when to harvest. Just north of town is the Recapture Reservoir. If you like catching northern pike, this is the place to come. They also have a reservoir for bass and one for trout. Another wonderful place right here in town again is the Nations of the Four Corners. This is a settlement area that was inhabited from as early as 1000 AD. Mexicans, Indians, and also early settlers have all been on this property. There's no charge to go to this park. You just walk right in and there's miles and miles of trails. We got lost a few times, Bruce and I did, I think, and had to turn around and go back. There is a prayer arch here uh, that we did find. Of course, we had to look around for that again, too, but that's the prayer arch. And there are beautiful views from this park looking out to the Blue Mountains again. And of course, we were there in uh, late May and the cactus were all blooming. There were so many spring flowers. It was just beautiful. We really enjoyed our walk that day. One last look at the beautiful blue mountains that you see from everywhere in Blanding. The natural scenery here is unique and makes it worth your trip. Hope you've enjoyed our video on Blanding and the RV park we're staying in. Our next video is going to be on day trips from Blanding. We're going to use this RV park as our home base. So come back and see us. Hey folks, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure and subscribe. Once again, you'll get all the notifications of our tremendous <laughs> summer videos. Yes. God bless you all and remember, may God bless America.